striving hard to clean Nigeria of all forms of economic crimes, including corruption. Let us support the Commission by shunning all acts of economic and financial crimes. Good evening and welcome to the program, The Eagle. My name is Aisha Gambari. Aisha Mohammed is on the program with me. Hello. Hi, Aisha. Good evening to you viewers and thanks for joining us as we bring you another interesting package of the program, The Eagle. Stay tuned and enjoy the program. Cheers. 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 What is it? Please, keep to yourself. Chivurabo, I got your telephone call. Yeah. Anytime I close my eyes, yes. I see dead people chasing me in my sleep. My Juva Magadam. Is it possible for someone to become restless just because of his past? Nevertheless, unless you kill somebody dead, then the spirit will be haunted you. Hey! Was you owe contractors? I embezzled all the money for the roads that are now death traps, killing people every day. I approved the supplies of fake drugs on pipe on water. I embezzled the money at the fear chief. You are supposed to fear the have a special man that you don't know of EMCC. I chose to be here to do to stop other people with money. EMCC, as soon as they captured them, threats to prison. Chief, yeah. yeah. jail, jail. Ah, are you? Life are not just about acquire wealth. Making money. When other people are dead, die of hunger and neglect. Be careful. EFCC, I watch. EFCC will get you anywhere, anytime. Youth across the country have been charged to be disciplined and to show all acts of economic crimes and corruption. Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ibrahim Lamorde, made the call recently at the inauguration of another EFCC Integrity Club. Also today, five persons have been arrested by the Commission over allegations of fraudulent transfer of a total sum of 5.5 million naira from an account domiciled in the New Generation Bank. Justice Farouk Lowell of the Kano State High Court jails one Daniel Okpara for impersonating the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Mr. Ibrahim Lamri. We will also bring you a report on the recent arraignment of Ibrahim Sudengi by the Commission for Impersonating and Stealing. Please stay tuned as we bring you this report after the break. <music> EFCC will get you anywhere, anytime. Five persons have been arrested by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission over allegations of fraudulent transfer of the sum of 5,550,000 naira from an account in Sky Bank. The suspects are Demola Ekunlola, Tajuddin Oluwanishola, Kolawale Adams, Temitope Pedro, and Otumba Biodun Adebanjo were picked up from different locations in Lagos for fraudulently transferring money from the Skybank account of one Ajani Karim Musbau. Ademola Okunlola, a staff of one of the bank's branches in Ikeja, Lagos, set the stage for the scam when he secretly used his camera phone to capture the photograph and signature specimen of the victim. Okunlola and Bayo Olowoyo, attached to the Toyin Street branch, allegedly sent the victim's photograph and signature specimen to another member of their syndicate, who perfected the fraud by transferring the money into two separate accounts in tranches. The first tranche of 4,100,000 naira was moved into another suspect's account in Wema Bank, Shagamu Branch, Ogun State, while the second tranche of 1,450,000 naira was also moved into the account of another suspect in Guarantee Trust Bank, Ikeja Branch. The suspects, however, met their Waterloo after the commission received a petition from Sky Bank alleging fraud by some of its staff. The commission swung into action and the five suspects were immediately arrested. In another development, Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Ibrahim Lamorde, has charged Nigerian youth to be disciplined and shun all acts of corruption. Lamorde made the appeal during the inauguration of EFCC Integrity Club at Police Secondary School, Itaogbolu, Akure, Ondo State. 
The chairman, who was represented by the Deputy Director of Public Affairs, Osita Nwaja, said that the Integrity Club was envisioned by the Commission to instill core values of honesty, fairness, responsibility and respect for self, others and citizenship in the minds of young people. According to him, the youth needed to imbibe these core values in order to create a better future for the nation. He said corruption can be best prevented if all individuals imbibe strong moral values of integrity, honesty, accountability, transparency, fairness, equity and trust. Waja added that for the fight against corruption to be won, there has to be a deliberate shift from traditional law enforcement to crime prevention through education and citizens' engagement. In his remark, the State Commissioner for Education, Jide Adeju Yigbe, who was represented by A.O. Adebayo, admonished the students to take advantage of the Integrity Club to remodel their life, adding that the future of any nation lies in the hands of our youth. He further urged the students to be good ambassadors of their school and the nation at large. Aisha Lare Musa, Head Enlightenment and Reorientation Unit of the EFCC, enumerated some of the activities of the club which included lectures, essay writing, debates, drama, cartoons and comic creations, musical concert, quiz and sport competitions. She said integrity is a basic tool in the fight against economic and financial crimes and admonished the students to embrace integrity, hard work, discipline and avoid greed and idleness. The commandant of the school, Haruna Limachi, in his speech, called on government at all levels to focus more on youth empowerment, saying that if youth are adequately empowered, they will contribute meaningfully to the development of our country. He thanked the EFCC for her foresight in establishing integrity clubs in secondary schools across the country. <laughs> producer of oil in the world. In over 50 years of oil exploration, the country has earned well over $600 billion as oil revenue. If properly managed, it should provide us with a health system that will save lives and not a decaying health system. A society where energy goes round for meaningful development and not an epileptic power supply system. A productive educational system and not a decaying educational system. A society where jobs are created for self-sustainability and not a society where our youth roam the streets unemployed. A highway of safety and security and not roads that lead us to early graves. We should have credible leaders who deliver dividends of democracy to the people and not corrupt leaders who divert our collective revenue for private use. Say no to corrupt leaders. This message is from the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Welcome back. Next is a report on the recent arraignment of Mohammed Ibrahim Sodengi by the Commission before Justice Darius Hetz Kwabu of the Kaduna State High Court on a 13-count charge bordering on impersonation and stealing. Thelma A.K. has the report. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has arraigned one Mohammed Ibrahim Sodengi before Justice Dairus Hate Kobo of the Kaduna State High Court on a 13-count charge bordering on impersonation and stealing. Sodengi is alleged to have falsely presented himself as a retired officer and civil servant in the Kaduna State Civil Service and in such assumed character enlisted his name in the pension payroll of Kaduna State Civil Service, where he defrauded the state of the sum of 66 million naira. The Kaduna State Government had engaged Sodengi as a consultant to undertake the computerization of the Kaduna State Pension Payroll, and in that capacity committed the fraud. Sodengi pleaded not guilty to the 13-count charge. Upon taking his plea, Justice Kobo granted bail to the accused in the sum of 1 million naira with a reliable shorty who must be a resident of Kaduna. The case was adjourned to June 19, 2014 for trial. Still on court matters, 
Justice Farouk Lowell of the Kano State High Court has convicted and sentenced one Daniel Okpara to three years imprisonment for impersonating the chairman of Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Mr. Ibrahim Lamrode. The convict allegedly opened a Facebook account presenting himself as the executive chairman of EFCC and began to solicit and collect money from job seekers under the pretext of offering them employment at the commission. Daniel was arraigned on May 27, 2014, and he pleaded guilty to the three-count charge of impersonation and obtaining by false pretense preferred against him by the EFCC. Justice Lowell consequently convicted and sentenced the accused person accordingly. Also convicted for attempting to obtain a sum of 2 million naira from unsuspecting victims in fake Global Com promo lottery are Egbe Aro Friday and Samson Akbabio. They are to spend seven years behind bars. The jail term was handed to the fraudsters on May 30, 2014, by Justice A. M. Lehman of the Federal High Court, Benin, who found them guilty on all the 17 count charge that borders on obtaining by false pretenses preferred against them by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. He alleged that Akpabo, Samson, and others sometime in August 2011 sent him an SMS message purported to have emanated from Globacom informing him that he had won 2 million naira in an ongoing recharge and win promo. He also alleged that he was asked to pay some amount of money as taxes and such charges before he could claim his 2 million naira price money. Egbearo Friday and Akbaba Samson pleaded guilty to the charges preferred against them and were consequently sentenced. The sentences are, however, to run concurrently. In addition to the verdict, the convicts are to make restitution of the sum of 170,000 naira to the victim. The Ecobank account with a balance of 829,536 naira, 95 kabo, belonging to the first accused Egbearo Friday, which was used in defrauding the victim is also to be relinquished to the federal government through the EFCC. Thelma A.K. reporting for the Eagle. Cheers, cheers. <laughs>the seven crew members are Captain Momodu Ibrahim, Engineer Togbo C. Christian, Idowu Tuesday, Benjamin Eyinle, Anthony Medeho, Liadi Ayeni, and Fatai Lamidi. The trawler and its crew were received by the head Counterterrorism and General Investigation Unit of the EFCC, Lagos Zone, 
Aminu Ado. Ado assured the naval authorities of proper investigation of the case and solicited for the cooperation of all officers conversant with the case. The suspects will soon be charged to court as soon as investigations are concluded. Nigeria is the sixth largest producer of oil in the world. In over 50 years of oil exploration, the country has earned well over $600 billion as oil revenue. If properly managed, it should provide us with a health system that will save lives and not a decaying health system. A society where energy goes round for meaningful development and not an epileptic power supply system. A productive educational system and not a decaying educational system. A society where jobs are created for self-sustainability and not a society where our youth roam the streets unemployed. A highway of safety and security and not roads that lead us to early graves. We should have credible leaders who deliver dividends of democracy to the people and not corrupt leaders who divert our collective revenue for private use. Say no to corrupt leaders. This message is from the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Thank you for staying tuned. Next is our feedback segment with Chidima Amanambo. Eldred Makawovi wrote us via our Facebook page and he says, I wonder why you bring us news of persons arrested and convicted, but no news of persons discharged and acquitted. Some of these persons you are parading here are innocent. When the court declares them so, it is incumbent on you to tell us, so as to clear the names that these publications have soiled. Thank you, Mekawovi, for your comment. The presumption of innocence until proven guilty is a well-known dictum in law enforcement, and our reports does not prejudge the individuals involved. What you find in our publications are factual accounts of events unfolding or concluded. And from Balogun Adebowale Taye came this comment, and I quote, EFCC, Nigerians are happy that there is an agency that operates with conscience and integrity. Please, I want the EFCC to investigate this company called GNLD that goes around Abuja placing fake job vacancies to attract desperate jobless graduates to their offices under the pretense that it can help them secure jobs. Thanks, Balogun, for the commendation. We have warned several on this program that people should stop falling prey to search. You need to be sure of whatever you are getting yourself into. Notwithstanding, we can report the case to the EFCC with relevant documents through any of our social media platforms. That's it on the feedback segment. To be part of the segment, please visit us on facebook.com forward slash official EFCC or follow us on Twitter at official EFCC. You can also watch our programs and other activities on youtube.com forward slash official EFCC or send a text to the following numbers 0817 816-7599 and 0702-505-8809. You can also report any misconduct by staff of the commission via DIA at efccnigeria.org or call this number 09-9044-758 between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. weekdays only. Cheers. 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 What is it? Please, give to yourself. Chivurabo, I got your telephone call. Anytime I close my eyes, yes. I see dead people chasing me in my sleep. My Jehovah Magadam. Is it possible for someone to become restless just because of his past? Nevertheless, unless you kill somebody dead, then the spirit will be haunted you. Ha! Was you owe contractors? I embezzled all the money for the roads that are now death traps, killing people every day. I approved the supplies of fake drugs on pipe on water. I embezzled the money at the fair chief. You are supposed to fear fear a special man that you don't do of EMCC. I chose people who are doing the rule to stop other people with money. EMCC, as soon as they capture them, threat to prison. Jail. 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 Ah! Are you there? Life are not just about acquire wealth. Making money. When other people are dead, die of hunger and neglect. Be careful. EFCC, I watch. EFCC. 
will get you anywhere, anytime. Glad to have you back. Thank you for sending your messages. We really appreciate the time and effort spent towards contributing to the program. My name is Aisha Gamberi. Until we come your way next week, be part of the change that you desire in this country. God bless Nigeria. Aisha. It's Aisha. The Public Interface Unit of the Public Affairs Department of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, is driving a national discourse online every week. We are focusing on issues of good governance as it affects the anti-corruption crusade in Nigeria. Please join us on Google Plus by searching for official EFCC or official EFCC NG at gmail.com. When signed in your Google Plus account, like us or follow us. You can also join us on facebook.com forward slash official EFCC or follow us on Twitter at official EFCC.com. You can also watch our programs and other activities on youtube.com forward slash official EFCC. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.